if Elon Musk used Neuralink to merge himself with AI, would he have godlike powers? Would he be a genius level person who, I, I, to be fair, I do think, I do think if we're objective, there is a bit of a monopoly. Like you already mentioned it yourself, the data, they have the data. Hmm. They have, I think it's an advantage. It's the media have disparaged Tesla so much that people don't realize all these things you're pointing out. Mm -hmm. So they already have a bit of a monopoly. Then Musk owns uh, SpaceX, which has a clear monopoly in the internet and, you know, not just, not just home internet, but now moving into cellular internet, he owns mm -hmm. a bit of everything. If he was to merge with AI, is that, does that give him the, you know, the president of America has a certain level of power, but that's his whole different level, right? How, how do Who that is play? the president of America? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think anyone does. <laughs> But but ultimately, if Musk like uses, he has this ability, right, to potentially merge with use use Neuralink to merge mm -hmm. himself with AI. Could that give him that? How would that play out? Well, uh, things would get pretty wild. I think Musk probably already has more influence and power than any president in the world at the moment. Yeah, uh, this is obvious. He's doing things in the real world. The president of the United States is just a puppet for the machine, anyway. At least at the moment, um, I think it's pretty obvious to anyone that's got a brain that's been watching over the last four years that you know. Someone's there, the lights are on, but no one's home. So I think in terms of real world impact, you know, Musk is already having a far bigger impact globally, not just in terms of product and technology disrupting industries, but also in global conversation, enabling people to, to freely share their thoughts and their opinions and ideas. Mm. I mean, if you hadn't acquired X, uh, I don't even want to imagine what that would be like. But certainly supplementing his abilities with Neuralink and augmenting his intelligence certainly wouldn't be a bad thing. But I think... Everyone's going to have that opportunity at some point. I don't know when exactly. Uh, Ray Kurzweil has got many thoughts on this. He and does, yeah. I think this is part of that sort of era of hyperabundance and where things just get completely wild. If you imagine humans being able to suddenly almost overnight, you know, become a million times more intelligent and capable mm. and increase our speed of thought and our memory, our cognition, uh, it's going to get pretty wild. And this is the point where it's just hard to predict what does the future look like what does anything even mean anymore? What is what is it existing at that point in time? I like just you know hard to know. So you don't do you see? Do you think Musk would plan to potentially do that? Because the way I see it, he has this much brain power. All these companies, he's having to make all these decisions. If he was to do that, that potentially means he can process things much much faster. Potentially, you know, do you do you see that as a strategy here? Because I personally think that he's planning to do that, but I. Maybe I'm crazy. What are your thoughts? Well, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that if the technology is there. Yeah. I mean, Musk, it's quite obvious to me, and I think anyone that pays close attention, Elon Musk is trying to be useful. He's trying to maximize his utility to humanity. Yeah. That's what he's trying to do, to be yeah. useful. So if you're ever unsure, what would he do? Will this help him be more useful? If the answer is yes, well, duh, he's going to do it. So, yeah, it seems pretty obvious. Do you agree with all the stuff he tweets? Do you think that? Well, I don't agree with everything, but I do agree yeah. with the idea and principle that he should be sharing his opinions and not be a fucking bitch. Do you think there's it's... people telling him to stop saying this and don't have an opinion and that's divisive? Fuck you. Let the men speak. He's a human. Just because you're a pussy and you're too scared to put your ideas out there because you, well, you might offend somebody doesn't mean you should impose your pussiness on someone else. That That's my thoughts. You're clearly um, similar to him. You don't you don't really care yeah. what you think. No fucks given. Yeah. yeah. And I, I can't, I cannot, I could, psychologically i just can't put myself in the shoes of somebody who's unwilling if somebody has an important belief something they feel strongly about and they believe it's important and they're unwilling to say or share that put it out there mm. i cannot understand i can't put myself in those shoes i like I, can't, I cannot imagine what it's like to be a human vagina and just not be able to do that i just i just can't and and that's just I, it's very hard for me to empathize with people that even Try to, to suggest don't share that opinion and don't say that and it's too controversial. I don't I just can't put myself in those shoes. I'm just not built that way. It's just not how I'm wired. So do, do people posting negative comments based on you being totally honest, does that ever bother you? Not particularly. I mean, I think most of the time there's a subset of people that will have criticism that's valid. You know, it, and I totally I take that on board, you know, it's useful. But then there's also a number of confused admirers, also known as haters who have notifications on and they're desperate to just, you know, say something negative every yeah. time. And I just, my immediate reaction there is just empathy. I feel bad for these people. It's it's legitimately like a 42-year-old yeah. man living in his parents' basement who's just angry at life because he's got nowhere. And he's just, hate always comes from below. 
It never comes from above. And I just feel bad for these people. I'm like to be in such a situation psychologically where you're expending energy and time trying to bring somebody down. I'm the wrong target, bro. I uh, like it's water off a duck's back for me. You got to pick somebody that like has some issues with their confidence or their self image. I'm not the guy. I'm just sitting here laughing, thinking, please, what are you doing with your life? You could be reading some books from Jim Rohn and try and learn how to get yeah. better and stop. Yeah. And instead, you're just sitting here attacking. So I don't particularly get bothered by that. I've never been somebody who's been at all concerned about other people's opinions, including about me. And I think that might be an autism thing or it might just be a me thing. But I, I just don't care. And so it doesn't particularly bother me. But I do I do read all the comments and feedback. And A few days ago, what was it, two days ago? My my eight year old, he said, "Dad, your shorts keep popping up in my feed," and um, he said, "Oh, I, and I've been watching them, but I've seen that people making your haters are making these negative comments." Yeah, I think so. I mean, it does seem to affect a lot of people in a negative way. And the thing is, human psychology for most people, a negative comment is going to sting like you know, 10, 20, 30 times more than a positive comment. Posit yeah. You know, yeah. you see dozens of people saying, this is amazing. I love your channel. You inspired me, whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Then you have a one negative comment. I think most people it really affects. But the mindset shift for me, I just, I see a hater and it's either valid I'm taken on board or I just feel bad. It's empathy. I'm like, man, fuck it. another one of these basement dollars, man. I'm like, you know, like go read a Jim Rohn book. Like stop, stop spitting this hate at somebody. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I, like I yeah. said, I think most haters general like act proactive haters are not just the one of you're a dickhead, fuck you, I'm never watching you again. Mm. Most proactive haters, and you're, they're like flies on shit. They just can't, they're actually just confused admirers. They see traits in you that they wish was in themselves, but they can't accept this. Mm. And so they just try and bring you down. What, what other explanation can you have from somebody who's got notifications on across all of your social media and they're like the first person to comment every yeah. fucking time? And by the way, this will be funny. When you post videos of me on your channel, read the comments, you will see the haters who have been looking for me or find my shit everywhere. Like, this guy, I hate this guy. I can't believe you invited him on the channel. He's a... yeah. and the... I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Why don't you even click on the video? Because they're well, actually secretly admiring. They're just confused. Before, before I forget, I should mention the fact that you're a significant part of the reason I started the channel. I was watching Peter Diamandis and some Tony Sieber stuff, mm -hmm. Singularity University, some of them doing their predictions on solar. I was thinking mm -hmm. people don't realize that actually the world is going to get much better. Everyone's thinking the world's mm -hmm. getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Read a few books about um, that writer of the, of the Better Angels of Our Nature. He talked about the statistics. Oh, of uh, Kotla? No, not Kotla. Uh, Stephen Pinker. Stephen Pinker. Pinker. I think yeah. that's one of the books you recommended as well. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't read it, so I probably did recommend it. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, wow, people think that everything's getting worse. It's not. Mm -hmm. And that along with your predictions, you really definitely drove me to do this. So... I mean, people may criticize it, but I might not be here if it hadn't been for a lot of the stuff you said. There That's you go. true. 100%. Here. So thank you for inspiring me to do that, to, to get this, because it is it is extremely satisfying to be able to, to affect people in a positive way. And so, sometimes um, I think what's bothered me with the comments is I've had a few comments, a few pe people that consistently will post on videos, he's lying. Uh, he made up the story of cancer about his wife. That that's that isn't true. Even though I've I've obviously shared data from do doctors, and um, I've even had an interview with a cancer mm -hmm. oncologist on the channel. That someone would say that and think that I could be hiding this from my entire family and and mm -hmm. tricking everyone. And and to me, that really that even though it's insane, that was mm -hmm. painful. I've got to say. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can well, imagine. I mean, obviously, it's a really personal and seriously um challenging time you've gone through and for people to just be denying that and then to suggest that there's some ulterior motive it's just mental but yeah. these these are people who are just dark and nasty humans rotten to the core and they're just reflecting outward kind of traits that they know are in themselves like you'll never hear somebody say anything about you that isn't a reflection of how they feel about themselves so people who are, are willing to be dishonest and deceptive are the same people you'll hear coming up with these crazy conspiracies that you committed fraud or made this or that up. It's not, it's, they're not saying it about you. It's just a reflection of how they feel about themselves deep down. And the hilarious thing is they don't realize this, but no one is going to accuse you or say anything about you that they, it isn't a reflection of how they feel about themselves. You're not going to find a healthy, mentally healthy person that has a positive outlook on life. That's, that's randomly suggesting that you're a liar or committing fraud or deceiving people. That doesn't happen. You, they will, they're never, never, ever.
you will find somebody who has a very dark, nasty, toxic, pessimistic outlook who is dishonest and deceptive and takes advantage of people who make those claims of you. It just doesn't happen the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah.